In this video, we'll be comparing the Google Pixel 2 with the iPhone X by its features, design and other things. So let's get started. So let's compare the Apple iPhone X with the Google Pixel 2 XL in terms of their general specifications and in their look wise. So let's get started. The Google Pixel 2 specifications are as follows. As you can see, it's cracking the Android version 8.0, uh, SIM slots, Nano SIM, 4G supported and also 3G, 2G also in terms of their general specifications coming to their design its thickness bill is around 7.9 mm millimeter that and weighs you about 175 grams talking about the colors it has the black and white colors water resistance dust proof and pretty much cool look then comes the display it has a 2K display at 537 ppi, 537 pixel per inch. The display type is OLED and whereas it comes with a Gorilla Glass capacitive touchscreen which is a pretty great, great thing in this price point. Then let's talk about its general features and specifications. It has a 6 point inch large 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 screen and it is very excellent in terms of its screen that gives you a best color greatness and contrast talking about the performance it's powered by snapdragon 835 processing and processor is the octa core that is at 2.45 gigahertz quad core and 1.9 gigahertz quad core both are mixed up together and it's a 64 bit graphics are the Arduino 540 coming into the RAM it has a 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage again guys it is not expandable which is a great thing then comes the camera it is cracking 12.2 megapixel primary camera whereas the front facing camera ha is it has not lit where the front facing camera is 8 megapixels it shoots back camera it shoots 4k at 30 fps 1080p as 120 fps and 720p at 240 fps it has a high exposure and iso control and auto supports hdr shooting whereas the front camera is has a aperture of 2.4 f and fixed focus and no autofocus is placed next talk about the battery in terms of battery google pixel 2 hexel has a pretty much decent and a nice battery for a one and a half day performance that is 3520 mAh battery lion and supports quick charging which is also uh, very fast talking about its multimedia function it 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 has a loudspeaker which is pretty cool and also it supports fingerprint sensor precision for unlocking proximity sensor accelerometer compass gyroscope and other kind of stuff those are the special features of this phone then talking about the next performance the gaming performance is pretty nice and decent because it is cracking the Arduino 540 which is also present in the Razer phone so that is of the Pixel 2 XL. Then comes the specifications of iPhone X. So it's cracking the display of 5.8 inch, but had a dual core, dual plus quad core CPU, 64 gigabits of storage, 12 MP of camera, and 2716 mAh of power pack. It's cracking the iOS 11 the system UI and features a nano SIM. Talking about its quick charging, it supports wireless charging also and also it doesn't have any fingerprint sensors but it has a face ID unlock which is a great thing in the Apple's history. Then talking about its thickness, it is around 7.9 mm, slightly 0.2 mm difference from the Google Pixel 2 XL 
width and also it has a 2K display at 463 pixel at 463 pixel per inch and it's a OLED display also. It also supports 3D touch and multi touch. Talking about its performance, it has a chipset of Apple's latest A11 Bionic with hexa core processing and it's a 64 bit ram processor and that is it has a ram of 3 gigabytes and 64 gb packed internal storage again guys this cannot be expandable talking about its camera it has a 12 megapixel primary dual camera whereas at 1.8 aperture apertures and it can shoot it can shoot 4K at 60fps, 1080p at 240fps and 720p at 30fps. That's great. Talking about this front camera, 7 megapixel front camera at 2.2 aperture. Talking about its battery, it is not good to as good as Google Pixel 2 XL. But again guys, the screen size is a bit smaller. It is clocking 2716 mAh battery that's cool and it supports 4G and other kind of stuff. Again guys, it doesn't feature any of the proximity center, accelerometer, barometer, compass, gyroscope. It doesn't have any of these sensors in that. Okay, now it's time to compare the both phones. Till now I said the specifications, next we will talk about the phones. So in terms of price point, the Apple iPhone X is about 89,000 rupees in India, whereas the Google Pixel 2 XL is about 73,000 in India. In terms of US dollars, it is on the screen. As you can see, the Apple iPhone X is much expensive than the Google Pixel 2 XL but we have to accept this because it's from apple about it about its camera the apple iphone doesn't has the best camera in portrait mode as google pixel 2 xl whereas google pixel 2 xl has the best camera according to the reviews and the performance wise the Apple iPhone X has scored more performance in the Geekbench. Again, Google Pixel 2 XL is very great at this price point and you also get a very nice battery. But if you have uh, extra money spending on buying an Apple iPhone X, it is better you to buy the Apple iPhone X as your desires. But you have a less cost, you gotta buy a phone at this range you can just go to the google pixel 2 xl also it is also a pack with a very nice battery very nice android also it supports the fingerprint sensor no face id but if you are expecting something more than the google pixel 2 xl it is better to go with apple iphone x but the google pixel 2 is available in both the variants that is black and white whereas the apple iphone x is only at space gray Okay, in terms of screen, the Google Pixel 2 XL does better, even the one at the graphics also, it has an Adreno 540 RAM. So, which one do you choose when you have a money? Let me know in the comment sections down below. So that is it for this comparison and video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Also, check out my video on OnePlus 5 vs the Razer phone.